running away is no guarantee of avoiding disaster. In some situation in life, one must uh, accept the inevitable. And after all the options have been tried, one may be left with the only one option. And at that point, one may have to make a big decision. Once this decision is made, it is often irreversible. If a sound decision is not made at this point, the chances of a major catastrophe increases. Recently, Russian soldiers seem to be facing similar uh, similarly dif difficult situations and decisions, of course. The numerous decisions of the combat leadership of the Russian armed forces are forcing Russian soldiers to pay the price. And in the process, the Ukrainian armed forces have been successful in neutralizing Russian troops by seizing such opportunities. Since the beginning of the war, I've already, like, I've repeatedly emphasized that the Russian troops are not receiving adequate support and the situation of their soldiers is not giving enough attention by the Russian military leadership. However, this is not the only developments in this situation. Left alone in the face of the attacks by the Ukrainian armed forces, Russian soldiers are finding the solution in surrendering to the Ukrainian army. In recent days, a group of Russian soldiers surrendered to the Ukrainian troops because they did not receive enough support. So let's take a look at these details of this incident. Before I start our report, I need to make a small reminder. As the pioneer, we continue to bring you developments regarding Russia-Ukraine war. So don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications so that you don't lose our uh, map reports and reports in the agenda. You can also support me and my team uh, by using the super thanks button below the videos. Thank you so much for your support. Let's start if you're ready. I read your comments, so I'm going to lower my speed a little bit. Sure. Ukrainian armed forces troops are achieving a great success with their determination against the Russian armed forces. And the Ukrainian resistance, which began with the Russian government's decision to invade Ukraine, continues to write epics. Ukrainians, equipped with faith and determination, are putting up a determined resistance against the Russian army. And as such a result of this resistance, Russian soldiers are suffering heavy losses. The Ukrainian army enjoys great support from both the Ukrainian government and its people, which further strengthens their struggle. The Russian troops, however, have no such support. They are alone and are fighting on a failed battle against the determination of the Ukrainians. Russian troops seem to have been abundant in the Ukrainian theater. In our previous reports, I've mentioned that the Russian soldiers are often left alone and they are often sent to the Ukrainian positions to participate in so-called meat attacks. However, during these attacks, Ukrainian soldiers often put up a strong resistance. So when the Russian soldiers request support from the Russian headquarters to carry out orders, they often receive no response. So faced with the determined resistance from the Ukrainian army, Russian troops are also in a difficult situation when they do not receive the support they expect from the Russian headquarters. In recent days, a similar situation is allegedly unfolding around the Zaporizhia front line. In this region, Russian troops have been attacking Ukrainian positions in Verboten for a long time. However, they have not yet achieved this goal. Also, this is making the Russian war leadership very nervous and increasing the pressure on the troops to carry out more meat attacks. In the past days, Russian troops once again mobilized and launched a meat attack. So the Ukrainian armed forces had carefully planned to neutralize the Russian troops and at the moment of the attack, the positions of the Ukrainian troops was in a position to encircle the Russian troops. Thanks to the strategic positions, the Ukrainian troops were ready to destroy the Russians in the events of the attack and the Russians were unaware of the ambush. So Russian intelligence also fails to detect the Ukrainian ambush in time, leaving the Russian soldiers vulnerable once again. And the Russian soldiers saw the Ukrainians retreating step by step as the attack began. And this led the Russian soldiers to believe that the attack would be an easy success. And as they continued to advance, they were relaying information on the Russian headquarters. The Russian headquarters rejoiced at these developments. However, unexpectedly, an attack from the area where the Ukrainians had set up the ambush began. And the Russian soldiers were caught between two fires and in the grave danger. So as a result of the the attacks launched by the Ukrainian army from two fronts, the Russian soldiers suffered heavy losses and began to retreat. However, they were trying to resist and hold on to the positions they had retreated to. In the meantime, the attacks of the Ukrainian soldiers were continuing and the conflict was in full intensity. Russian soldiers took refuge in a few ruined buildings in their retreating positions. 
Meanwhile, the first warning came from the Ukrainian soldiers' positions. They said surrender and your lives will be spread. So, initially, the Russian soldiers had no intention of surrendering and repeatedly made announcements asking for support from the Russian headquarters. I've shared similar situations with you before, so uh, we, have, we, we are familiar with the reactions of the Russian headquarters. However, there is no response from the Russian headquarters, and the Russian soldiers were all alone and unsupported, and they were moving towards the end. So, the Ukrainian soldiers, meanwhile, made the second and the third calls for surrender, and the Russian soldiers were discussing among themselves, and the option of the surrender was actually in the agenda. They had heard about the experiences of the other Russian soldiers who had already surrendered, so they began to think the surrender was a more logical option. In the end, the Russian soldiers chose to surrender, and they took out a piece of white cloth, put it over their military clothes, and uh, walked out of the building to surrender. So, after the Ukrainian soldiers received the Russian soldiers, they collected the equipment they had on them, and then they handcuffed the Russian soldiers, you know, something usual, so they put them on the armored personal carriers and taken away from the front line and sent to the area where the other prisoners were held. According to local sources, the interrogation process of the Russian soldiers continues, and these sources also claim that the Russian soldiers prefer to cooperate with the Ukrainian army, actually. However, so far, there is still no information about the interrogation process of the Russian soldiers. So, every day we see many cases of the Russian soldiers surrendering, and the reasons for this are obvious. Russian soldiers are sent to this war, but they cannot find an uh, interlocutor. They have a war leadership that has nothing to do with them, and the Russian war leadership is completely focused on achieving the goals of the president of the Russian Federation, Vladimir Putin. The Russian war leadership does not care what happens to the Russian soldiers in the pursuit of his goals. So, there are numerous reports that President Vladimir Putin is planning a new mobilization, and these reports, together with the recent developments, increases the likelihood of their accuracy. The decline in the number of Russian troops shows Putin's need to mobilize new troops, and Putin is taking a big gamble, as he's not only risking the war in Ukraine, but also the risk of facing even greater losses. So, what do you think? What do you think about Ukraine's military measures against Russia? Can they be successful? And could there be an increase in the number of soldiers surrendering on the battlefield? What impact could this have on the course of the war? And how will the surrender of the Russian soldiers affect the situation on the Ukrainian front line? Let me know in the comments, because I read and care about all of your comments.